Hey y'all, it's Betsy from Happily Ever After, etc. I'm back at the Lola Bay. So this is the manufacturer house that I'm buying. And I thought today I would go over a few of the options that you can customize with this home. So there are certain things that you can customize that are standard, okay? So these are just options, like you can make the dining room larger and have a slightly smaller front porch. I'm not doing that, but you could. There are also options that I've come up with on my own, asked if they're possible, and yes, they are possible. So don't limit yourself to what they show you on the floor plans. If you want something custom, ask. And I promise if they're able to, they're gonna work with you. Because why wouldn't they? They're trying to sell you a house. So let's get started. The first thing in this home that I'm changing are the front doors. So these doors are black with four windows, and I love that, but I wanted a white front door. So they are actually going to do two white front doors for me with the 15 panel glass. You can also get a kind of ash gray kind of a look. Now the reason that I'm doing a white instead of a black is because the Lulume is traditionally a white and black farmhouse. But I'm not such a big fan of the white. It's too much contrast for me, too much to keep clean. So the second change they're doing for me is instead of white vinyl, they're going to be doing a light gray vinyl with a dark gray accent instead of the black. So my white front doors should really pop. I love that. First of all, my house is going to be a little different from all the other little ways that you see, but it's also way more neat. So moving into the house, in this very living room, you can see this adorable little chandelier. I love it. But I would love it way more in the dining room. So they're going to actually move this chandelier into the dining room, right over my table. And in here, they're going to install a ceiling fan. Let's face it, y'all, I live in Alabama, and it's hot, like I'm hot right now, because there's no AC in this house right now, we're in a model. My house will have AC. They are also adding the two beams that you see here. The beams in the kitchen are standard, but the beams in the living room and the master are optional. These are standard options. So I want beams, they're putting in beams. They're also doing beams in the master for me. The third option, I'm going to start showing you some of these. The next option in this living room is this little tiny entertainment bar. Okay, so this entertainment bar is going bye-bye. I have an actual teal entertainment system and it will look perfect there. But in order to clear this space, I need this entertainment bar going. So my house will not have this. Now we're going to move into the kitchen and the only main difference in here is this sink. I love this sink. It's beautiful. But let's face it, I'm just not a stainless kind of gal. So I'm going to have a beautiful copper faucet with a white farmhouse sink. I can't wait. Another standard option is that you can have the three windows, just like they are here, or you can get a two window option with larger shelves. I'm trying to get it to focus for you. There we go, just too much light. All right, now we're going to move into the hallway. So the only part about this house that I'm not in love with is this little desk in the hallway. It's adorable if you have children and you are actually using all your bedrooms for family members, but one of my bedrooms is going to be an office, so I don't need this space. What I do need is storage. So they are going to take out this desk, they are going to put doors on this, and this is going to be an amazing storage closet for all of my Christmas things. Then we're going to come into the master bedroom where there will be beams on the ceiling to match the living room. These two little windows will be gone and a ceiling fan will replace the light. Of 
course, the last thing is these vents. Now, you have two options. You can have ceiling vents or you can have floor vents. I have picked ceiling vents. And there you have it. Now, there are other changes that you can make. Simple things like this house comes with a faucet in the back for your garden or for your dogs. You can also add an optional faucet on the front. I want both. It comes with blinds throughout the entire home, except for in the master bath. Those two large blinds, closet, not closets, those two large windows behind that beautiful tub do not come with blinds. So you can optionally add them. That seems fairly That seems like a no-brainer to me. Why wouldn't you want blinds behind your bathtub? But there are even more options, I'm sure, that I'm not mentioning. So I am going to just do a little bit of research and I'm going to add everything that I can even see for an option down below. But like I said, things like my brand new Christmas closet where that desk was, that's not on a list. That's just something that I thought, I don't need this desk. What I do need is storage for all my Christmas trees, and they're making it happen. So, think outside of the box. Just because it's a manufactured home doesn't mean it can't be a custom manufactured home, and that there aren't other options. In fact, if you go to Buccaneer's website, there are custom options to flip through, which is where I found out that you can even get a copper faucet, which I thought I was going to have to put in myself. I don't have to put it in myself. They'll do it for me, and it's not even an upcharge. It's just a switch out of the fixtures. No difference in the money, and I'm happier, so why not? I will show you guys everything else that I can possibly think of right now. Alright y'all, I hope you've liked this video. I said last week that I'm going to do a Q&A. If you have any questions, if you're looking at a manufactured house, I'm going to try to sit down with Ashley, the gal who's selling me my house, and go over some of these questions. And if you have questions for me as someone who's going through this process, please ask and I will answer all of those questions. In the meantime, I'll see you later. Bye.